네, 오늘 English on the go 영상에서는요, 또 어떤 원어민의 이야기를 들어볼지 궁금하시죠? Okay, so today we have a clip sent to us from Rika Sterling from Germany. 네. Rika from Germany. 네, 독일에 살고 있는 Rika 씨에게 이야기를 들어볼 텐데요. 자, 은행에 보통 이제 돈을 넣어놓고 한국에서는 특별히 이제 뭔가 마이너스 통장이라는 사, 상품을 이용하지 않으면 uh. 돈이 있는 만큼만 빠지지 더 이상 빠지진 않잖아요. Uh-huh. 그런데 유럽에서는 독일 여기 이야기를 들어보면 독일도 그렇고 미국도 Ooh. In America it is like that as well. But they charge you every time 35 US dollars. 아 그렇군요. So it'll be minus that plus 35 dollars. 그러니까 일반 통장에서도 초과 인출이 되는데 조금이라도 마이너스로 넘어가게 되면은 35달러의 yeah. 수수료가 붙는다라는 Even 거죠. Even if it's like only like one penny over plus 35 dollars. 아, 그냥 진짜로 1 펜이만 넘어가더라도 yeah. plus 35 dollars. I see. That's roughly 40,000 won in yeah. Korean currency. 한국 돈으로 환산해 보면은 뭐 4만 원 정도가 되는 건데 꽤큰 수수료가 붙네요. Yeah. 그래서 그런 일이 있었다라는 이야기입니다. 리카 씨 불러볼까요? Okay, 리카 씨 나와주세요. 나와주세요. When I'm traveling, I usually don't like thinking about money too much because I just kind of want to do freely whatever comes my way. So I think about how much money I have to spend beforehand and then I put it to the back of my mind. And I have overdrawn my bank account that way because it's possible in Germany. Depending on the bank you're at, uh, there's a fixed amount of money that you can overdraw without big problems. So I have come home once and checked my account and then I've discovered red numbers with a minus in front of them and that's like a, a little shock at first because who you don't really want to see red numbers on your bank account. I hadn't been paid yet, that was the problem. And um, then there's a tiny penalty for overdrawing your account but I don't even remember how much it was because it's pretty small if you don't overdraw too much. But that's about it, so it's not too too big of a deal. 네. All right, so thank you for that. All right, thanks for the story. 자, 그러면 mm-hmm. 리카 씨의 이야기를 한줄한줄 한줄 자세히 공부를 시작해 볼까요? Okay, sounds good. So the first line is, When I'm traveling, I usually don't like thinking about money too much. Mm-hmm. When I'm traveling, I usually don't like thinking about money too much. 저도 특별히 여행할 때는 이런 거 같은데, When I'm traveling, 저는 여행할 mm-hmm. 때, I usually, 보통은, don't like, 좋아하지 않습니다. 무엇을? Thinking about money too much. 음. 돈에 대해서 너무 많이 생각하는 것을 좋아하지 않습니다. 음. 네, 좋아요. 여기까지는 중, 충분히 무슨 말인지 알겠죠? Yeah. 다음 문장. Because I just kind of want to do freely whatever comes my way. Mm-hmm. Because I just kind of want to do freely whatever comes my way. 네, 일단 이 문장의 뜻은 아무거나 기회가 생기면 자유롭게 하고 싶거든요 정도로 번역을 해볼 텐데 우리가 영어를 배우면서 그냥 뭐 해석해보고 해석이 되면 만족하는 것이 아니라 내가 전에 한 번도 못 봤던 표현인데 그런 게 있으면 은 받아들여서 써봐야 되잖아요. 음. 여기에 이제 comes my way, whatever comes my way 음흠. 이런 문장, 이런 표현들이 굉장히 재밌는 것 같아요. 음흠. 평소에 많이 이제 뭐 여기저기서 보이지 않지만 재미있고 또 사람들이 음. 자주 쓰는 그런 표현들 이런 것들 계속 노트해 주시고 Yes, please. 기억해주세요. And practice using it. All right. When a situation 거. comes your way, mm-hmm. make sure you use the expression That's right. comes my way. <웃음> <웃음> 그래서 이제 comes my way라는 것은 나에게 그것이 다가왔다라는 건데 mm-hmm. 무슨 일이 생기건 간에 I just kind of just 빼고 생각하시고 yeah. kind, kind of 빼고 생각해도 yeah. 괜찮습니다. I want just to, want to. Yeah. Want to do freely. 자유롭게 하고 싶거든요. Freely. 뭐, 어, 이거 맛있겠는데? 근데 지금 내가 돈이 얼마 있지? <웃음> Do I have money? Do I need to pull it out? No. Freely. Just whatever situation comes your way. 네. You just eat it. 네. 그래서 그냥 하고 싶기 때문에 돈에 대해서 너무 많이 생각하는 것은 안 좋아한다라고 이야기했는데 물론 예산이 어느 정도 짜져 있어야겠죠? Mm-hmm. 그게 바로 다음 문장에 나옵니다. Right. So I think about how much money I have to spend beforehand and then I put it to the back of my mind. Mm-hmm. So I think about how much money I have to spend beforehand, and then I put it to the back of my mind. 네, 저는 미리 돈을 얼마나 쓸지 생각한 다음에 쓸지를 생각해 놓고 다음에는 I put it to the back of my mind. 뒤에 <웃음> 잊어버리고 지낸다라는 거죠. You don't really think about it too much. Yeah, when something's in the back of your mind, it's something that either you don't think about or something that you think about sometimes, depending on the sentence. 맞아요, 맞아요, 맞아요. Yeah. 그래서 it's um, On the back of my head, back of my head, back of my mind, 라고 하면은 이게 이제 
완전히 잊어버리진 않고 가끔씩 생각난다라는 right. 뜻도 되고 mm-hmm. 그리고 반대로 계속 생각하고 있지는 않다라고 해서 잊어버린다는 뜻도 됩니다. 그래서 right. 문맥에 따라서 번역을 해주시고 mm-hmm. 여기서 재밌는 것은 How much money I have to spend라고 했던 게 mm-hmm. I have to spend는 돈을 써야 한다라는 말이잖아요. Oh no, no no in this case how much money I have to, that I can spend exactly to spend. <웃음> 그래서 이제 how much money I have that I can spend. That I can spend. 네. Right. 쓸수 있는 돈이 얼마나 있는지. Right. 즉 이제 번역하자면 돈을 얼마나 쓸지가 되는데 이것도 사소한 차이지만 한번 알아두시고요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. And I have overdrawn my bank account that way because it's possible in Germany. Mm-hmm. And I have overdrawn my bank account that way because it's possible in Germany. 네. 그러다가 that way 그러다가 초과 인출을 한 적이 있는데 overdrawn my bank account. 네, 은행 계좌 my bank account 여기서 이제 overdraw 한 적이 있는데 mm-hmm. because it is possible in Germany. 독일에서는 그게 가능하거든요라고 mm-hmm. 이야기해 줬습니다. 다음 문장. Mm-hmm. Depending on the bank you are at. Mm-hmm. Depending on the bank you are at. 어느 은행에 있느냐에 따라서라는 말은 어느 은행을 쓰느냐에 따라서. Mm-hmm. Depending on the bank you are using. Mm-hmm. 그 다음. There is a fixed amount of money that you can overdraw without big problems. Mm-hmm. There is a fixed amount of money that you can overdraw without big problems. 네, 큰 문제 없이 without big problems 큰 문제 없이 초과 인출할 수 있는 금액이. 정해져 있다고 합니다. Mm-hmm. There's a fixed amount of money. Mm-hmm. Fixed 라는 것은 고정되어 있는 거죠. Mm-hmm. 이 단어 공부해 보겠습니다. Okay, fixed. 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 Fixed 라고 하면 고정된 이란 뜻이죠. 그래서 mm-hmm. 예를 들어서 고정 수입. Fixed income. Mm-hmm. Fixed income. 그리고 고정된 가격 또는 정가. Fixed price. Fixed price. Fixed price. In many places in Korea, in the past, maybe mm-hmm. in, the, in the 70s, in the 80s, mm-hmm. in the 90s even, People were able to haggle, like oh, right. for cheaper prices. Yeah. 예전에는 그 흥정이 가능했잖아요. 대부분의 장소에서. Right, right, right. But now everything has a fixed price. For the most part. 네. Yeah. 그래서 이제 깎아 달라는 게잘안 되잖아요. Right. 네. 그럴 때 이제 fixed price가 있기 때문이죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 고정 비율. Fixed ratio. Mm-hmm. Fixed ratio. Fixed ratio. 그리고 마지막으로 이, 그 은행에서의 고정 mm-hmm. 금리. Fixed interest rate. Mm-hmm. Fixed interest rate. 네, 변동 금리가 있을 수도 있겠고, mm-hmm. 그냥 고정되어 있는 mm-hmm. fixed interest rate도 가능하겠습니다. Mm-hmm. So we just looked at some expressions related to fixed. Fix. All right. So All right. now that is. Now let's look on to the next it's, part. It has been fixed. <laughs> wow. 다음으로 가보죠. <laughs> I figured you were trying to use the expression fixed. Yeah, but sentence. not like this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next okay. one. The next one is, so I have come home once and checked my account. Mm-hmm. So I have come home once and checked my account. Come home 했는데, once. 지금까지 집에 한 번밖에 안 왔다가 <laughs> no, 아니고. No, no, no. 이제 one 번, time. One time. There was one, one time, time yeah. where I... Came home. 집에 한번 집에 왔는데 그러니까 한 번은 집에 왔는데 and checked my account. Mm-hmm. 그리고 계좌를 확인했는데 어떤 일이 있었죠? And then I've discovered red numbers with a minus in front of them. Mm-hmm. And then I've discovered red numbers with a minus in front of them. 통장 잔고에 <웃음> 빨간색 숫자들 red numbers yeah. with a minus 앞에 minus 표시가 in front of them. 여기서 말하는 them은 바로 The numbers. The numbers. The yeah. red numbers. The red numbers. 빨간색 숫자들하고 그 앞에 마이너스 표시가 되어 있는 것을 mm-hmm. discover 했다고 발견했다고 합니다. <웃음> 네. 그래서 반응이 어땠죠? And that's like a little shock at first because who? And that's like a little shock at first because who? 그리고 그것이 처음에는 at first mm-hmm. a little shock. Yeah. 약간 충격, 약간의 충격이라는 거죠. Of course, 네. because you, to see red numbers in your bank account. Mm. Especially if you don't know, 맞아요. it's very shocking. 네, 예상 못했던 빨간 숫자 마이너스 충격 받을 수 있는데 그 다음에 이어지는 말이 이제 because who라고 했는데 because는 왜냐하면이라는 말이고 who 문장을 이제 끝내지 않고 있어요. Right. Because who would want to see red numbers? 뭐 이런 말들 mm-hmm. 누가 좋아하겠어요? Who would want to see that? 뭐 mm-hmm. who would like to see that? 이런 말들이 떠올랐겠지만 주어를 바꿔서 어떻게 말해주고 있죠? Right. So she changed it to 
you don't really want to see red numbers on your bank account. Mm. You don't really want to see red numbers on your bank account. 은행 계좌에 빨간색 숫자가 쓰인 걸 보고 싶은 사람은 없잖아요. Right. 라는 말입니다. 여기서 또 강조하고 싶은 전체 이야기 중에서 가장 중요하고 흥미로운 문형이 여기 나와요. Mm. 바로 바로 뭐냐면 you don't really want to. Mm-hmm. 여기서 말하는 이유는 당신이 아니죠. Right, it just means in general. Yeah. Like who would want something Or like that? Or people. Right, people. Yeah, in general. Mm. People don't want to. People don't really want to. 이런 말이에요. Right. 그래서 뭐 you don't want to 이렇게 말했다고 해서 어, 나 나한테 이야기하는 거야? No, <웃음> 라고 no, 생각하시면 no, no. 안 되겠습니다. It just means yeah. in general people. And we we actually use that a lot. Yeah. 한번 like, 이, 이, 이 you don't want to 이걸로 한번 예를 좀 들어보자면. Mm. 네. You don't really wanna. Drive your car with no gas. Mm-hmm. <웃음> 그렇죠. 기름 없이 <웃음> 그, 그 가솔린 없이 기름 없이 운전하고 다니고 싶지 않다. Yeah. 또 you don't really want to or you don't want to go home and find that something's missing. Yeah. 또는, you don't really want to have something stolen. <웃음> 네. You don't want to lose your phone. You don't want to. 이말 자체가 약간의 mm-hmm. 조언처럼. You don't want to say that. You don't want to say that to him. 그 사람한테 yeah. 그런 말 하면 안 돼. Right, right, right. It's not like giving advice to one person. It 음. just means in general things that people don't want to have happen. 그렇죠. 그래서 right. 조언의 그런 뜻일 수도 있지만 일반적으로는 그런 걸 사람들이 안 좋아한다. People로 mm-hmm. 바꿔서 생각하시면 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. I hadn't been paid yet. Mm-hmm. That was the problem. I hadn't been paid yet. That was the problem. 네. I hadn't here. Had not. Right. Had I, not. I haven't라고 하면은 만약에 I haven't라고 하면은 지금 급여를 아직 안 받은 거죠? Right. So you're talking to me. Oh, did you get your money? No, I haven't been paid, been paid yet. Yeah. But she's talking about back then she hadn't been paid at that time. But of course she's paid now because much time has passed. 그렇죠. 그래서 정확하게 얼마가 시간이 지났는지 모르지만 mm-hmm. 그 당시로 봤을 때는 I had not been paid yet. Mm-hmm. 그 당시에 아직 급여가 안 들어왔었던 mm-hmm. 거였어요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 이제 원래 급여가 들어왔어야 됐고 거기서 돈이 빠져나갔어야 mm-hmm. 마이너스가 안 되는데 mm-hmm. 안 들어왔으니까 다른 것이 빠져나가서 mm-hmm. 마이너스 된 거죠. 그래서 그것을 mm-hmm. 가지고 That was the problem. 크게 mm-hmm. 문제였어요. 라고 지적을 해줬습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is the next one? And then there's a tiny penalty for overdrawing your account. Mm-hmm. And then there's a tiny penalty for overdrawing your account. 그러면 there's a tiny penalty. 페널티는 보통 뭐 벌칙 정도가 되겠지만 yeah, usually money you have to pay. 네, 여기서는 a fine, 네. a fee. Of course in soccer you have the penalty kick. All right. 페널티 킥이 있지만 mm-hmm. 그거 말고 여기서 말하는 페널티는 벌칙이라기보다는 벌칙과 같은 뭐 수수료? Yeah. 음, the yeah. fee. I would say 수수료, like more like fee. 네. Yeah. 그래서 tiny penalty, 작은 수수료가 있습니다. For over overdrawing your account. They're lucky that there's this tiny. Ours 네. is quite large in America. 네, 미국에서는 tiny라고 볼 수가 없을 right. 것 같아요. Right. There's a 달러면. large penalty for overdrawing your account. 네, a big penalty. Big penalty. Huge 네. penalty. <웃음> Giant penalty. 네. 그런데 독일에서는 tiny라고 했는데 right. 이 단어 공부를 좀 해보죠. Right. Tiny. 네. Tiny. Tiny 하면은 작은이란 뜻인데 mm-hmm. tiny 이외에도 뭐 작다 또는 적다를 가리키는 말들이 좀더 있어요. Mm-hmm. 첫 번째. Slight. Slight. 약간의, 근소한이라는 mm-hmm. 말인데 slight는 mm-hmm. 양만 가리킬 수 있어요. You can only talk about quantity, right? Not size, right? 네. Or like the amount that some, or or kind of like to what degree as well. 음, 그렇죠, 그렇죠. So like if I got an injury, I got a slight injury, right? So slight sprain, 살짝 right. 발을 뺐다. Yeah. 네, 그랬을 mm-hmm. 때뭐 어떤 정도 또는 양만 가리킬 수 있고 mm-hmm. 크기는 가리킬 수 없습니다. Right. 그리고 그 다음에 Negligible, mm-hmm. negligible, negligible. 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 하는 것은 뭐뭐 할수 있는데. It's able to be neglected. 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 Right. 온 거죠. 그래서. Right. So it's so small that you you don't even have to like think about it or pay attention to it. You can just neglect it and 네. not worry. 그렇죠. 무시해도 좋은 또는 yeah. 대수롭지 않은 mm-hmm. 라는 뜻이 되겠고요. 그리고. Minute. Mm-hmm. Minute. 이 단어 같은 경우에는 딱 보고 minute. minute. Oh. Yeah, I didn't 네. even realize. Since we're talking about small, I 네. just thought my new. But yeah, spelled sim- same. 네, exactly, exactly yeah. the same. 분, 이제 시간, 그리고 몇분할때그 minute하고 똑같이 minute. 쓰지만 형용사로 쓸 때는 minute. 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 음, 그래서 아주 세세한 
극미한이라는 말인데 음. 예를 들어서 in detail이라고 하면은 자세히라는 말인데 in minute details 하면은 음. 아주 세세한 사항까지도라는 뜻이 됩니다. 음. minute 발음 음. 주의해 주시고 음. 그리고 마지막 microscopic microscopic 네 이것도 microscope에서 온 거예요. Yeah. 네, a microscope looks at microscopic things, things 음. that are so small you cannot see it with your own eyes. 그렇죠. 마이크로스코프가 이제 마이크로하고 스코프가 붙어서 현미경인데 mm-hmm. 스코프 부분이 스카픽으로 발음이 바뀌면서 현미경으로만 볼수 있는 작은 크기의 So mm-hmm. for example, we can talk about microscopic germs, microscopic... Yeah. Bacteria, viruses, yeah. cells... Living, living things. Yeah, cells, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was related expressions about tiny. tiny. Back to the story, please. Mm-hmm. But I don't even remember how much it was because it's pretty small if you don't overdraw too much. Mm-hmm. But I don't even remember how much it was because it's pretty small if you don't overdraw too much. 그래서 기억조차 나지 않는다. Mm-hmm. How much it was. 그 tiny penalty라는 것이 얼마였는지 기억이 yeah. 안 난다. Because it's pretty small. 꽤 적은 액수거든요. Yeah. If you don't overdraw too much. 너무 mm-hmm. 많이 초과 인출하지 않으면 적다고 합니다. Again, mm-hmm. Right. Germany wins in this case. <laughs> right, they do. And for us, if yeah. you had multiple purchases, then it, each one, mm-hmm. it adds 35. Ah, yeah, so let's say you went to the store and you bought a pack of gum for $1 mm. and then, you know, I mean, some ba- a bag mm. of chips. 35 for each one. 초과인출이 될 때마다 계속해서 35달러, 30달러 이렇게 붙는다는 거군요. Yeah. 그래서 마지막 줄은? But that's about it. So it's not too too big of a deal. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. So it's not too too big of a deal. 네, that's about it. 그게 다예요. 그래서 yeah. not too big of a deal. 투가 반복이 두번 됐지만 mm-hmm. 그게 문제될 건 없다. 별일 yeah. 아니다라고 이야기를 했고 yeah. 리카 씨의 경험상 초과 인출 한 적이 있지만 문제가 될건 없었고. Right. Because the fee is very small. That's and good. Yeah, good no for them. Big deal. 자, 그러면 이번에는 또 복습을 해볼까요? Okay. Why don't we call her out again? 리카 씨 다시 나와주세요. 나와주세요. When I'm traveling, I usually don't like thinking about money too much because I just kind of want to do freely whatever comes my way. So I think about how much money I have to spend beforehand and then I put it to the back of my mind. And I have overdrawn my bank account that way because it's possible in Germany. Depending on the bank you're at, uh, there's a fixed amount of money that you can overdraw without big problems. So I have come home once and checked my account and then I've discovered red numbers with a minus in front of them and that's like a a little shock at first because who you don't really want to see red numbers on your bank account. I hadn't been paid yet, that was the problem. And um, then there's a tiny penalty for overdrawing your account but I don't even remember how much it was because it's pretty small if you don't overdraw too much. But that's about it, so it's not too too big of a deal. When I'm traveling, I usually don't like thinking about money too much because I just kind of want to do freely whatever comes my way. So I think about how much money I have to spend beforehand and then I put it to the back of my mind. And I have overdrawn my bank account that way because it's possible in Germany. Depending on the bank you're at, uh, there's a fixed amount of money that you can overdraw without big problems. So I have come home once and checked my account and then I've discovered red numbers with a minus in front of them and that's like a a little shock at first because who you don't really want to see red numbers on your bank account. I hadn't been paid yet, that was the problem. and. Um, then there's a tiny penalty for overdrawing your account, but I don't even remember how much it was because it's pretty small if you don't overdraw too much. But that's about it, so it's not too too big of a deal. 네, 리카 씨의 이야기를 가지고 다 한번 복습을 해봤습니다. Mm-hmm. 충분히 이해가 되셨나요? Mm-hmm. 네, 이번에는 금요일 보너스 코너로 넘어가 볼까요? Okay, it's time for Street Smart. Smart. 